big commit today on the Linux kernel side of things with uh, 5.15. Actually, this happened about six days ago, but I'm a little bit slow on the uptake. Uh, I did look at this a bit, and I'm really, really happy with these changes. Most people don't understand how crappy NTFS support is in Linux. They might pull a little bit and copy a file, but actually using an NTFS in Linux is... Uh, less than ideal, to say the least. But there's two big things this driver does that I want to talk about in this video and actually show you. Obviously, I have Pharonix, one of the best websites. If you ever see like a Linux commit and you hear something in the news, don't pull up some rando news site. Go to Pharonix. Michael over there always just kills it, man. Knocks it out of the park. So I was looking through here, and the big thing, and how it's summed up at the end here, too long, didn't read of all this, is the two big things are, one, it can work a lot better with a whole bunch of uh, normal, compressed, and sparse files. Uh, a good example of this, I remember pulling from an NTFS drive, doing in like a Hugo compile, and it just was like, ugh, it like died on me. <laughs> it was not good. Uh, the second thing is ACL, that's permissions. And you might be thinking, well, what, what, what's big about permissions? And actually, you know what? Let me pull up a WSL instance on this Windows box so you can see. So this is what a normal directory looks like. Now, this is actually Linux right here that it's actually reading. But let me pull up old Windows and we're going to go to another WSL prompt. But this one is a mounted home directory of my NTFS drive on this Windows instance. Look at this. And you know what? Let's just compare the two. And let me see. Can I increase that? Yeah, let's let's do that. And you can see the NTFS drive always, it, it's always chmod 777, meaning read, write, execute, and that's for everything because it just can't read any of these uh, permissions at all. And with ACL support coming in, it should be able to actually read these a lot better. So we'll, we'll have better permissions with NTFS drives. It's not going to be identical, but it's going to be a lot better. And the next thing here, going back, you can see that NTFS journal replaying, this is such a big thing too when it comes to using NTFS drives in Linux because journal replaying helps prevent corruption and other things. Like let's say you're right in the middle of something working on an NTFS drive, your system crashes. Usually what happens with NTFS is it needs to look to the journal, see what files were in use, if it needs to replay or uh, fix any of the corruption that happened. That's what NTFS replaying is. Uh, Oversimplifies version. There's a lot more that goes into it than that, but you get the gist of it. It helps prevent that corruption. So this is probably the biggest commit I've seen in a while to this, and it's pretty amazing how it came about. I love the first part where he gives like a backstory of this driver, as this was a paid commercial product for Linux, and just nobody really used it <laughs> because it was a paid product. And they're like, ah, forget it. I'm not even gonna bother. We'll just use something else. And with the advent of like Microsoft's XFAT and F2FS for Android, most people just use those, and it just kind of made this driver redundant. So Paragon was just like, well, we admit defeat. Here you go, Linux community. All our hard work is now yours. Go ahead and merge it to the kernel and have everyone do it. But, I mean, obviously Linus, the, the cool part about that is, like, most people that have the, uh, hey, closed source is better approach kind of thing, this is the power of open source. Just this paragraph here is, is so cool. Because as they actually come in and they did the, the actual commit, Linus and the Linux kernel team goes in and goes, yeah, this is good. I really like where it was going, but things need to be fixed and tidied up. So that's exactly what they did. They took this existing kernel that was already really good. It was something we didn't have. And then they made it even better. And that's really what open source is about. And one of the coolest kind of things that have come out of this whole whole deal is you get to see one, the power of open source, but also it was really neat to see more of a traditional company embrace open source and be like, all right, well, we're not making any money on this driver anymore. And everybody's kind of moved on. Let's just give it to the Linux community. They didn't need to do that. They don't get anything for doing it. Maybe a couple brownie points, but probably most people watching this video don't know who the hell Paragon software is anyways. So... <laughs> 
Yeah. Anyways, cool. It was such a cool story. Cool commit. I'm really looking forward to 5.15 because as you see, I use Windows all the time. And this is actually probably a bigger uh, boon for those that use WSL in Windows because we'll actually have a, a, some better permissions. But also those dual booters out there reading from NTFS drives will be great. I'll try and actually... One thing I want to do is like Blizzard games. I want to actually try and stream like Diablo from my NTFS partition in Linux to see what happens when that happens. So, so once this gets gets committed and I get the my hands on it, it goes probably past RC. I'll probably go ahead and try that fun tidbit experiment to see how well it holds up. Because I mean, obviously the current driver, <laughs> forget about it. That oh, that's a bad idea. But for this one, yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, but with that said, let me th know your thoughts about NTFS, the new driver, and I'll see you in the next one.